wananchi mambo ya kukaa pamoja na umoja na kupendana like very soon baada ya corona ninatoa wimbo inaitwa jirani this is a nice one nasema jirani waache hapa kwa sababu Mungu ametoa watu bali I think we'll have time for or maybe I guess we talk. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I think I did the talking with <laughs> 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 now after the brief introductions. We set out on a bound. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Then we become to an oh, okay. No, I was seeing some people are feeling harassed. No, no, no. I think it's time to Okay, relax. Let's take over, please. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So without without much ado, let's also to kill the curiosity. Let us let's just do a, a quick one round of activity. But before that, then I think it's only fair that I just yeah. give a very brief introduction. Yes, yes, problem. Uh, for those of you then who are not very familiar, Agricultural Development Corporation has got a this is for this particular Tanzania. This is where we have a very strong presence. We also have a presence in Nakuru, called it Nakuru Ruga, and we also have a presence in the coast. Uh, where then we have become famous for Kalana Kalana uh, irrigation project. Um, here then we've got about eight farms. Uh, we spread from the, across the, the other side of the road would be ADC na Mandala. Then we've got this particular direction, ADC on Tatongo. Further on, we've got the, where the eye can see, we've got ADC na Mandala, and the same na Mandala. And then we've got na Sabwani, we've got uh, Cholim, we've got Nai, we've got Kiapata, we've got uh, Swam, where oranges come from. And lastly, then we've got uh, Kasuke, ADC Kasuke. All these farms combined have got, give us a total area of about 34,000 acres. This particular facility here was like the, uh, the house associated with our office in town. For those of you who are familiar, just a brief section 2000 is the ADC offices. Uh, it was built in 1949, and we reckon also this building was just built about the same time, 1949. So each of the houses then have got a, a manager's house, and uh, I think if time allows, then we'll even uh, share some snapshots from We've taken some photos of the houses just to have a feel of all of them. Um, so that's a brief. Then uh, I think we just then have quickly just have a look at the houses. Please allow. This was in a training facility, but with the COVID thing, then we had to slow down to get to. You were even meant to have replaced the, the tiles. Was the lady tells me, no, 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 no. You should just leave it as, as they are. So this is uh, something we'll have to, to work on. But um, by and large, then you can see this is Dutch architecture. So we reckon this house, the one is on Katungu, it's, it's Dutch. Then uh, the rest then I think is basically, I think you can put English to it. Yeah. Though then the house of Japata is associated with the Anderson family. This is their grandfather who built it. So that is, uh, I think they're still living. shade then uh, other things will follow so this is the The lunch, the lunch section. Um, now, this is, I think I'll consider this as a question. And again, it's like a lower section, it's like an upper section. We are using it as the, the, the facilities for the Yes, when they are here. Mm. So I think we could even. 
So I was uh, just before as we were coming in, Madam. Yes. We were trying to answer the million dollar question. How does JTG get involved in forest? And yet we were basically aiming aim for agriculture. Uh, I've just when I before we went round in the facility, I just was telling them in this region we have a presence of about eight farms, thirty-four thousand acres, and all of the farms which we inherited were previously owned by the colonial. Uh, so we inherited from the colonial uh, group, the colonial farmers, who then uh, had uh, had a strong presence in the whole country, so to say. But we feel very strongly, and what has happened then with taking off by taking off the farm of the manager's houses, we let everybody then take care of their houses. But then uh, ADC then found itself in a very interesting situation when we started uh, on the line of tourism. We have a presence in the coast, and uh, Madam Kia knows that we, we really border Savo on the other side. And one of the times then we used to be there, then it was like we had uh, a lot of lion attack on our animals. And uh, we used to go then uh, every, I used, I used to be part of it, we write a long letter. This, this month we've lost uh, 10 animals to the lion, 3 animals to the cheetah, to do what. And so it was like, uh, so we asked for compensation from the, from the KWS, you know, asking them, you know, to pay for us for having had a being their neighbors and the animals have destroyed our animals. So we continued like that for a bit of time. Then it occurred to us, surely, instead of crying over these an wild animals which have a presence in our our ranch facility, mm -hmm. uh, by the way, it's 1.8 million acres. Eh? Mm -hmm. yeah, and next to it then is Kulalu, which is 240, um, one, uh, 240, for the combined with the 1.8 million. So it was like, I mean, can you write a letter for, for the first year, you write for the second year, continuously every month, see, my friend, you need to think outside the box. So it occurred to us, like, why, why don't we take advantage of the presence of the lions and the, and the elephants, you know, so that then we can uh, also get something as a way then to compensate us for... <laughs>
unavyosema kwamba e Mungu nguvu yetu ilete baraka kwetu mpaka mwisho kwa hivyo mambo yataka taka ya ukabila tuondoe katika eh, inji na mimi nimefurahia sana siku ya leo kwa sababu nimeona dada zangu amekuja unajua sasa mimi ni Moi Junior naona Madam Jane Corporate kule Kenya City na wote wamevika hapa lakini bana sisi nimeshangaa kusikia kwamba women tourism we Kenya women tourism madam ame join juzi hey, women tourism sijasikia men tourism sijui tumepotelea wapi sasa jaribu kutengeneza pia tuwe na wanaume ambao watapenda hata ukienda kanisani wa mama ni wewe kwenda katika sasa hii nakuta tu women tourism women tourism Kenya women finance trust sijui what wanaume basi vile si tu lisema ni kwamba tutakuwa na tuwe na Mount Elgon climbing watu waende wajione na hizi facility kama kuna raia yote amenyakuwa chukulika sasa huko na madam hapa anaendewa na kuchukuliwa kwa sababu hakuna acha kunyakuwa maji kwa sababu hata msimu huu alikaa na hii vitu mpaka leo angalia mpaka ile ya Mombasa Fort Jesus wapi wapi kwa resmeria ziko lakini unakuta wengine wameingilia na kunyakua hiyo sasa punguza vizuri alafu kama kuna mtu mwingine anasema moyo alinipea angalia sawa sawa alafu leta hiyo watu kwa laini wawekwe jela kwa sababu hakuna haja kunyakua facility zapi kama hii najua mimi nimewaa kule Mombasa one day mama watoto akaniuliza akasema Mombasa tunakwenda baharini na hapa kwenu huwa mnaenda wapi kibu kama ya Jumamosi nikanyamaza nikanyamaza nikamwambia hapa tunaenda kwa mai kwa <laughs> sababu sasa hakuna mali pa kwenda kujivinjari watoto kurukaruka na kuona such good facilities like this one kwa hivyo kama vile waziri unakumbuka jana hii tumekuwa na ingine inaitwa Tabongo Lorraine kule Lodwa it was very nice kwa hivyo ifanywe hapa tuanzoya at least once a year kubwa watu wakwende katika mlima Elgon wakweye hiyo mlima na waambiwe vile watakwenda alafu tuweze kuleta tourism sector tuweze kulinganisha na raia waje enjoy na biashara isonge mbele fire najua you have something to say sasa katika fire kwa sababu sasa hii this is the way to go kwa hivyo tufanye hiyo na mimi nimefurahia sana kwa sababu hata msimu huu hawezi kusahaulika katika nchi mnakumbuka iko Moi International Sports Center Moi Riparo Hospital Moi Galaxy akacheka mashule ya watoto hakika hata wa madam mnaona soja pale madam Jane from Kenya City huyo mwingine huyo madam ana kisungu mzuri hata nikepewe mrembo wangu mfundishe naweza kukiria ameshuka leo na ndege kumsikiza kwa radio yote hii ni product ya Moi mpaka watu waka alipropel masomo ya watoto wa kike mpaka watu wengine wakaanza kusema kwamba huu Moi anapenda wanawake nani hapendi kwa hivyo hiyo ni safi waje nilete Raila Amolo Odinga asisalimie dakika moja aya 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 amjembo mjembo wa Kenya mimi mwenyewe ni mfurahi kweli kwa sababu kwa facility kama hii ndani ya Tanzania 
food is important. Whereby if we as stakeholders can sit down, identify or come up with strategic packages, partnering with other stakeholders, even including Mount Gems, of course the Kariwa, the Mount Tauba. Yeah, so that uh, because then the national has its own way and the county focuses on very specific areas. So we want to see that one happening. Um, but also, uh, Madam Chair has mentioned about a, a website or a portal where we can reach to market Transoya. Uh, I think the director mentioned that there is a plan to establish an information center. And we would love to see that one happening uh, because people who want to come to Transoya have no idea where to find the information they are seeking, apart from probably just Google. And you know, Google has no details. Yeah, we are the ones to provide those kind of details. If we have to be found on Google, it is us to put Google in the information. So if the information is very scanty, uh, people who have lived in this county since they were born are also realizing things that exist and they didn't know. So I think for me, a point of emphasis is recollecting ourselves and just identifying those uh, products and services that we have or even places that have potential in terms of tourism and packaging them for that purpose. Um, these actions must be deliberate because we are coming from a history where we are comfortable with the status quo, you know. Najot ni Mount Elgon na Saiwa. That is the end of tourism for Transway. But I think we need to be purposeful moving forward, making sure that we collect every uh, available product and service and package it for, uh, for the people to enjoy. And of course, the public is always here to uh, play a role. So, yeah. Thank you very much. who are doing much better may have the same or even slightly more facilities than we do. 
so we have what is x <coughs> the only thing is h we do more and we get to the point where we need to do it and this is the power sign okay. i think uh, we've already said it we just need to identify the spot of power to be using as the power and the very top is h and remember that our heritage of Uganda is the red so when we're talking of Tanzoya uh, with its capital Kampala as a backdrop what can we see around that place so as we come together as stakeholders whatever we need to do let's not uh, forget the unique place that we uh, that Tanzania holds as a backdrop and this place. We need it for all the different varieties of food, for example, the beans. And um, yeah, then develop the amazing places where people can also take a break from the work. Typically, we are looking at places where people can spend the weekends or what is two, three days where people can do a day run and go into Tanzania, stop at this place, stop at that other place, stop at this other place, enjoy your lunch here, have a swim there, visit the jogging track of famous athletes, visit that national park where they show their horse, and be there. So I think it's really a question of Everybody comes with you at the beginning. Um, so the spirit of pioneering is one that you must persevere. When you are successful, we all want to get the credit. Uh, so let's remember that. So those who are pioneering do get that. Uh, many of us will sit by the side and watch. And then when President Kenyatta is coming to launch Tanzania as tourism or whatever, we shall all be there and running and we shall be next to him. And you who has been sweating day and night will be very far from that professor. <laughs> that is <laughs> the nature of human beings. So <coughs> as a pioneer, I would say keep focused, keep to it. Uh, history will remember you. Zoya will celebrate your product. Uh, I know you guys will know the story of celebration, right? But don't give up. Don't give up. Thank you. Hey, wait, clap when you want to get it. Oh, no, clap. especially talking about being a pioneer in this industry it's been it, it, it is a hard challenge especially when you're trying to to get everybody to on board but um what i can say about the uniqueness of Tanzania is that we are right at the beginning so 
clean up all the chances of succeeding. We don't have a history to overcome. And so we're right uh, in the right place where we are right now to get started, to get our, our acts together, so to speak, in terms of tourism. Yes, Tanzania is the breadbasket of the nation, and that was where we need to also start selling hard. And even though Tanzania has always been known as the place of you know, Jano, this is where you come for, you come in, Jan in January to plow, then you're back in March to plant, and then you're back in June to weed, and then you're back in August to, to harvest. So nobody really thinks in terms of, can I go spend holiday in Transoya? And so that's where we come in as stakeholders to show them even in between the weeding and the plowing and the harvesting, you can actually go and spend a few quality time, hours, or even days visiting places that you never even imagine. Um, Rosemary just told me the other, the other day she went to a place she had, she had no idea that, that it's comparable to even California. I went to uh, somewhere else that is comparable to New York. We've got this beautiful landscape, we've got beautiful scenery, and this heritage homes, I must take my hat off for the settlers who built it, because they chose the site. They really knew how to choose the site to build their house. So almost all the houses that I have been, I wanted to pack up my bag and live there, because it is just so beautiful. And so we just want to work together with the owners of these homes, so that they don't just stand and become monuments, and then of course eventually just collapse. That they can be repurposed, so that people can come and visit and 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 know the stories because the stories make life a little bit more interesting. So there are quite a number of stories. I've been to several of these homes and there's some interesting stories you're told by how a tea party happened and this is what happened. Then you just sit there and you listen and you actually understand that human beings live here. And it just makes you know the days go by faster the So uh, for tourism in Tanzania, I totally have a lot of hope for it, that we are going to definitely get ourselves onto the map. The portal is going to put us there, it's going to help us. As the stakeholders, we're going to uh, create experiences and packages that will be able to sell so that people can come and know this place for more than just maize, more than just beans, more than just milk, you know, but also to come and have a good time. Thank you. Mr. Director, may I just add one more thing? It came to mind as you were speaking about these white houses. And I remembered, do you know when people make use of what they have? But they don't know how to take what they have. It just came up. Take the case of uh, this is a gambling capital of the world called the West Africa. Is it completely void of people who do Nevada, Nevada State. Nevada is a complete desert. It has nothing. <coughs> and they develop gambling. Nevada alone out of gambling has killed all of 90% of the Somalians. 
Taking portion number six. Yes. That it is so much the influencing the whole world. Zoya. And that is where I think I really like the division. Let me say this before the politicians come. I do not understand <laughs> why countries are so bitter about the political process. And that you can close up the internal affairs. Because in Nairobi Kenya, that should be subsidiary in Africa. We should develop ourselves in a country to have a level. That government will come saying, Tanzania, can we lend us some money? Because I think we can have enough resources to sustain here. <coughs> and it is up to stakeholders and technocrats like the mayor of the day who will do it. And the life of organizations, industrial directors, and the staff to do it. Leave others to us to do it. So, for the director, I want to say this one. He kind of brought the the team the team for for this day in the context of the current military facility. Actually coming and Converting this particular, um, converting um, this particular resources at the rural area that we have into a put into income which I can can generate an income for the people to form part and parcel of the commitment for that to our rural area. This is what we are going to talk about. Yeah, and then the rest will just be demand driven. The, the infrastructure, the policies, you know, the the the. the, the, the 
facilities and things which want to just do them because now we have so many attractions so many people are coming with someone is here and need what do I now? How can I help you as an entrepreneur? I say the entrepreneur, the guy who looks around and sees the opportunity. Opportunities will come for those other things. Just because of the things that we have in our house. That's where we are supposed to start. I'm just not actually what I'm noting down and then I, I thought it is sufficient. We are we, 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 we are taking ourselves to be having already having uh, the first the attraction and then we we talking about marketing. No, what I want marketing. to know is the subtitle <laughs> then I can help you from here. <laughs> what is what exactly are we noting down? <laughs> Way forward. Way for no, I'm just yeah. writing you notes. Know, in fact we need now to become a
We have had an amazing day, so I'll just kind of take you outside to check out how it is. And uh, here we are. So this is this is how it looks. Maybe you can just this is how it looks. It's amazing. It's beautiful. It has an amazing compound. We have been here like for three, four hours uh, with stakeholders in the tourism industry just to kind of have a conversation on how to diversify uh, tourism products. And I can for sure say that we are headed in the right direction because tourism is no longer uh, about wildlife. It's about the way of life of a particular community. It's about uh, behavior, it's about ceremonies, about culture, and uh, we have a history here in Transoya about settlers. And now that they left a history here, we want to capitalize on that as one of the tourism products that we have. So, um, I mean, it's an amazing place, it can be used for camping. If you just want to have a weekend in the rural setting, you don't have to book for a hotel in town. This but is the kind of scenario that we are looking at, all right? So continue checking the fireplace for updates. We will be right here updating you on the progress. <laughs> 